Here I'm going to show you how to use one of the sample projects that are supplied with this course. So first I'm going to close the existing project and open a new one. So I select Project, Open Project. And I select agetest.lpi, which is the sample project. And now you can see its files have been loaded here into this panel. This is the project file itself. Now normally I won't be dealing with that, I won't be adding any code. I leave Lazarus, or if you're using Delphi, I leave the IDE, the in development environment, deal with that file. My code is in the Pascal file, age1.pas. Now this is the code that I've written. It's to handle the button one click. I've got a button on the form. Let's look at the form. I can change to the form by toggling the view by pressing F12 or selecting this menu item. I've already designed this form, so it's got a scroll bar, it's got um, some labels on it, and it's got this button. So this button, when it's clicked, runs this code. Now, this code has a lot of these documentation uh, elements. These are my comments enclosed between curly brackets. Now, this method is really very over-commented. I wouldn't normally write this many comments, but as this is a first program, I've put comments for just about everything. So bear in mind that the compiler ignores all of these comments. They're just for the uh, clarity to make the, the code clearer to somebody trying to make sense of it. So this is the procedure. This is the chunk of code that runs when the button is clicked. So first I declare some variables. I have age and teenager. Age is an integer. That's a, a whole number. Teenager is Boolean. So that has a value true or false. Now, I set age to the scroll bar position. The scroll bar, remember, is on my form. That's here. And its position, as I drag this uh, little uh, tab up and down the, the scroll bar, that has an integer value. So I set age to its position. I set teenager to false. And then I do a test. I say, if age that's the position on the scroll bar, is greater than 12, and age is left less than 20, then teenager is true. So otherwise, the teenager variable remains false. Uh, then I do another test. If teenager, if teenager is true, that is, uh, then show a message. Show message is a built-in uh, function which pops up a message box with the text, this string, in it. So it says, you are a teenager if teenager is true. Otherwise, it says, you are not a teenager. And the only other bit of code that we need to look at here is what happens when scroll bar 1 changes. So this procedure is called automatically when a change is made to the position on the scroll bar. And its caption is set to the scroll bar position. Now, since the caption is a string, that's a piece of text, I've had to call another function to convert the integer the value of the scroll bar position to a string so I can display it on the form. When I'm ready to test it, I just click this button up here to run it. It compiles. You can see the messages down there saying it's been built. Uh, the application pops up in its own window. So currently, the scroll bar, let's see where I am, has a value of 4. So I can test the age. You're not a teenager. That's what I'm expecting according to the tests I've written my code. Now move it up to 17, test it again. You are a teenager and move it uh, above 20, 22. Again, you are no teenager. Okay, so that's a very simple program. I'll be supplying all the code for all the sample programs and that's how you load them up. If I wanted to close this project now, I could do project, close project. And now it pops up a project wizard, so this is an alternative way for me to pick uh, a new project file. Instead of going to the project menu, as I did before, I just click this button, and I can either create a new project, or I can open an existing project. So that's all there is to it.